the new public beta of CheckRain is finally here to jailbreak the latest versions of iOS 13. I am so excited. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak both iOS 13.4 as well as 13.4.1 and even future releases of iOS 13 on devices powered by A11 CPUs and older, which includes the iPhone 10 and below. For newer devices, unfortunately, you can only jailbreak those on iOS 13.3 or lower. Definitely check down below in the description for more details on that. I will have a quick write-up there as well as additional information and the latest jailbreak status for newer firmwares. But as of recording this video, the latest firmwares can jailbreak, obviously, as I just mentioned, utilizing the latest version of CheckRain. CheckRain is really a super incredible piece of software, and speaking of super incredible, so is our sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. In addition to 83% off your first month of Surfshark, you'll get one extra month entirely for free. Use the link below and code ICU at checkout. If you don't know why a VPN is needed, here are just a couple of the endless use cases. VPNs help secure insecure networks. In addition, they help to prevent your ISP or internet service provider from snooping on your personal browsing history. VPNs also let you access content on streaming services like Netflix that are restricted to specific countries. Super cool stuff. And besides all of the cutting edge features of Surfshark, they're our favorite here on the channel because they support a wide array of devices, as many as you have for a single subscription. Sign up now with the link in the description to save 83% and get an extra month entirely for free. Now you might be asking, well, what is CheckRain? CheckRain essentially is a boot ROM based jailbreak that Apple cannot patch with software releases. It was temporarily not working on iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1 simply because Apple broke it with a software incompatibility with their latest firmwares. However, that has since been rectified and this should continue to work into the future so you can follow these exact same steps to jailbreak. Now, there are a few caveats that I need to mention before we really get into this. First of all, as I just said, this only includes support for A11 and older. So that means the iPhone 10s, 10R, and iPhone 11 series are not supported. So only A11 and older, A12 and A13, unfortunately, only jailbreakable now on iOS 13.3. It's also tethered, and that basically means if you wanna use your jailbreak stuff, so to speak, you have to plug your device into your computer and rerun through the steps that I'm about to show you guys. It's pretty simple though. Once you have it down, it will just take a couple of minutes. And really that's only if you want to use your jailbreak stuff after a reboot. If your device dies or you simply have to restart it for whatever reason, you can still use all of your system apps without actually having to plug into a computer. It will boot up like normal and you can use it just like a stock iPhone or iOS device. And uh, again, on that subject, you do in fact need a computer. You cannot jailbreak without one. And as of now, only Mac OS and Linux are natively supported. So you cannot use this with Windows out of the box right now. Stay tuned for more details on that, as well as a detailed status checker page that's linked down below in the description that will be updated the very second the Windows version of CheckRain drops because it is in fact coming. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's get into exactly what you need to do. First of all, the very first link down below in the description is going to be an article on my site, Best Tech Info. It is the corresponding guide for today's video. And once you navigate here, again, I highly recommend reading through it, um, especially if you're not familiar with the jailbreak process. It highlights everything you need to know, including what we just went over and so, so, so much more related to compatibility, limitations of check rain, the differences between this type of a jailbreak and something like Uncover, and again, so much more. Now, what we wanna do is just scroll all the way down past the steps after you've read through that, and you're looking for this big download button for CheckRain. Just click on it and you will then be redirected. The site will gather the download links, and once it's done and you're on the destination page, I just want you guys to click right where it says click 
here. And then you will be redirected to CheckRain and you can click on get the beta now and then download it for Mac OS, the latest version. You can also scroll down to all releases right here at the bottom and you will be able to download it for Linux as well. Okay, so now that we do have it downloaded for Mac OS, what I want you guys to do is just click the download arrow and then just double click on it and it will essentially mount the disk image or .dmg and then we're just going to close out of Safari. We no longer need it for now and we're just going to drag it over into our applications folder. And now you just need to launch CheckRain. So you can do a spotlight search for it and you will receive this message. CheckRain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Don't worry, this is completely normal. This is just a security precaution that Apple puts in place to prevent any sort of malicious files you may accidentally download. CheckRain is perfectly fine though. So we can click on cancel and we're going to open up system preferences and then navigate to security and privacy and click on general if it doesn't automatically bring you there and you'll receive this message toward the bottom. CheckRain was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Go ahead and click on open anyway, followed by open to the pop-up. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and relaunch CheckRain. And there you go. You can see CheckRain now opened successfully and it does recognize my device as not only being connected, but also supported. Now, before we begin, I wanna mention a few things. I highly recommend at this point, you guys create a backup of your device. Although probably nothing will happen with CheckRain, I've used it so many times at this point on so many different devices and I can vouch for its stability. Again, there is always that off chance that something could go wrong. So definitely connect your device to your computer, go to it inside of Finder, or if you are on Windows and you're just borrowing a friend's Mac or something, then what you can do is launch up iTunes and create a backup. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it on Mac OS. Just click on trust inside of Finder once you have selected it under locations, and then you're going to tap trust to the pop-up that appears on your iOS device input your passcode, and then you should receive this screen here where you can actually click on backup. Now, now I highly recommend encrypting your local backup. You do have to set a password, but what this will do is it will back up absolutely all of your data, including personal things like health information. So this is definitely recommended because it backs up everything. So just set a password, definitely make sure you remember it. And you can also tick the option to remember it in your keychain. So that way, if you do happen to forget it, as long as you know your master password, it should work. So let's go ahead and click on cancel. And uh, that is what you would do. You would tick off that, set your password, and then you would back up right here. And then you would use that if you have to restore, then you can restore from that backup that you created. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to go through through this process. Now, I am going to disconnect from the dock because of the low level nature of this exploit. It does have to be connected directly to your computer via a USB cable and you cannot have anything in between that connection, such as a dock. Even if it's a first party Apple dock, it has to be connected directly via USB. And another thing too, if your computer does have USB-C, I recommend using just a USB-A cable and either some sort of a USB-A to USB-C converter or um, you know, just an USB-A port if you have one of those too. Some computers have both. Again, I recommend that because for whatever reason, it seems to improve the reliability. Now, at this point, you can see that we can go ahead and click on start, but I do wanna mention if you are watching this video at a later date and something has exceeded 13.4.1, such as for instance, iOS 13.4.5, which is already in beta, or heck, even iOS 13.5, five, then you can click on options and you can check off the option to allow untested iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS versions. This will allow you to actually jailbreak even if CheckRain hasn't been updated so long as it doesn't break like it did previously when iOS 13.4 was released. Remember, Apple can't patch this, so this should work for new firmware versions as well, but just be sure to click that subscribe button because I will keep you guys in the loop anytime anything changes anyway. 
Okay, so at this point we can go ahead and click on start and it's just going to tell us that we need to put our device into DFU mode, but first it's going to essentially enter recovery mode to help prevent any sort of data loss. So go ahead and click on next and it's just going to send your device into recovery mode. Don't worry, this is completely normal and this is to be expected. Now that it's in recovery mode, it will detect that and it will actually tell you which steps you need to follow to then enter DFU mode because that's how the exploit is actually delivered. So you can see in advance the exact steps that you need to do. So you would click on start and then the countdown would begin and you would essentially on an iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 style device, hold down the side and volume down buttons together for about four seconds. And then you would release the side button and just continue holding volume down. Do not let go of volume down. Down. And once you do that, it should just bypass this screen. And you can, of course, restart if you need to. Um, and it will have to actually restart from recovery mode. So you might have to reboot or send your device into recovery mode manually. But either way, just follow the steps at this point based on your device. And uh, these steps are also listed down below in the description on the post that I had mentioned previously, too. So let's go ahead and do this by clicking on start. And then we're going to hold down these two buttons that I had just mentioned, release the side button and continue holding volume down. Okay, so it has bypassed that screen inside of CheckRain. We're inside of DFU mode right now, and it is going through the jailbreak process. It's actually about to exploit right now. So you can see it says booting inside of CheckRain, but here we go, guys. This is the magic. The boot ROM has been exploited successfully, and we are basically jailbroken at this point. It is going to reboot, and we're going to slide to unlock here, input our passcode. And I'm just going to disconnect now because we no longer need the computer at this point and connect it to the dock, being very careful not to accidentally tip it over. And on the second page here, you'll notice that we do have a new CheckRain application. So now we can go ahead and tap on it and we should have the option to install Cydia. So go ahead and tap on Cydia followed by install Cydia. And you do need to have an active internet connection. So if you don't have cell service, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi, and then you will be able to download Cydia. Otherwise it will just crash. So. You can see we have Cydia now on the springboard and we can go ahead and launch it up and believe it or not guys, we are successfully jailbroken. And once you have installed Cydia, I highly, highly recommend going to the changes section at the bottom and then doing a complete and total upgrade. Now, first of all though, I wanna show you guys that this iPhone is in fact running iOS 13.4.1. So down below at the bottom, the identifying text confirms that this is an iPhone 10 comma three that's the identifier for the global iPhone 10 running iOS 13.4.1 with the latest version of Cydia. Guys, I am so pumped. Check rain once again works as expected. So let's go ahead and sit this guy down. And like I mentioned, you need to install any and all available updates inside of Cydia. It is just best practice to do so. So go ahead and navigate to your changes section, tap on upgrade followed by confirm, or just do a complete upgrade on that initial pop-up. Now, if you get any sort of errors during this process the first time, you may actually have to quit out of it and try it again. But you can see, it completed successfully. We did install those packages. Cydia was successful in fully upgrading and now we no longer have any new changes. So guys, that is how to jailbreak utilizing the latest version of CheckRain on the latest version of iOS. Like I mentioned, this should also be future proof and work for new releases of iOS too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not sure what to do now, now that you are jailbroken, definitely check out some of our top tweaks videos listed down below in the description. And actually a part of one is going to play after this video. It's just a little bit of a teaser and it will also be in your cards right now. Until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking. Yes, iOS 14 is closer than we think. And I really have yet to even begin to brainstorm what I wanna see out of iOS 14. as I've been so busy talking about the latest jailbreak news and tweaks. And it just hit me. There are some awesome tweaks out there that would be just incredible to see in iOS 14. And I'm not thinking too radically here, 
We've seen Apple take inspiration from the jailbreak community in the past to improve the iOS software and add new features to the iPhone. I mean, just as of last year, dark mode is now on iOS. That's a huge accomplishment there. That's a feature that's been around for a long time on jailbroken iPhones, but now it's implemented into stock iOS. Anyhow, with that being said, I figured I would try something new today, give a new spin to my top tweaks video, and kind of combine a few topics here. Now, I just want to show you guys my personal jailbroken setup, what tweaks I use on a daily basis, and uh, throughout this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite must-have tweaks that I really hope come to light in iOS 14. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me go ahead and show you guys my current jailbroken setup that's inspired by iOS 14. 